This fish taco sauce is so creamy and has a nice level of zing. I just never want to make fish tacos without it. All right, I have my workstation all set up. So here I have a half a cup of mayo. And a half a cup of Mexican crema. And you can use sour cream if you can't find crema. Um, I enjoy the flavor of crema a bit more. and it, Usually it's nice and extra creamy. And I have half a small lime. And I have here, uh, I have a teaspoon of granulated garlic. And you can use fresh garlic if you want, but that's a little bit chunkier. I'm trying to make it creamy. Uh, or garlic powder is great as well. And I have here a teaspoon of hot sauce. And I'm using a homemade habanero hot sauce for myself, but you can use your favorite brand. And um, if you want a little bit of extra spiciness to it, a little extra couple splashes for myself. Of course, of course. And last but not least, a little bit of salt, just a pinch maybe. That's, that's about good, but really to your preference. And the hardest part of the recipe, whisk. You really want to get it as smooth and creamy as possible. All right, so taste and adjust. A little more hot sauce, my friends. Hmm? All right, so let's talk about ratios and heat factor. You can vary up the ratios very easily. So if you wanted a little bit more crema, a little bit less mayo, a little bit more garlic, go ahead and add it. And regarding heat factor, you can easily add more hot sauce and a spicier hot sauce to your preference. I know there's some really awesome hot sauces out there that you can totally use. Um, or really, you can dial back on it and make it a little bit less spicy, a little bit more limey, uh, really adjust to your personal preference. All right, let's talk about the best part now, fish tacos. All right, got some awesome grilled salmon here, but this works for any kind of fish for your fish tacos, so I just love salmon. So uh, hey, it's taco time. Boom, fish tacos, creamy fish taco sauce. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Uh, you actually can use this uh, fish taco sauce on any type of seafood. It's actually great with like grilled shrimp or, or steamed shrimp as a dip. I love it with crab. Now you can even use it as like a fry sauce. Just dip your french fries in it. It's just crazy delicious. So uh, thanks for coming to my kitchen today, guys. I'm really happy that you're here. I hope you'll subscribe. And if you love fish tacos and you love this fish taco sauce, uh, you gotta try it with my blackened white fish. It's absolutely delicious and it's a great combo and I'll cue that up right after this. So uh, thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Bye. All right, time to eat.